Hi, my name is Brendan Fernandez and I'm a visual artist based in Chicago, Illinois. I'm originally Canadian and I'm excited to present In Action for you here at the Richmond Art Gallery. Uh, when you come and see In Action, you're going to see a sculptural installation and a two-channel video. Uh, my work is based in the practices of dance and visual arts, where I meld the two together. And so in, in action, you're going to see dancers performing and working with sculptural devices. Uh, the main space it, for me is considered a playground. I feel the dancers come into the space, it's choreographed, but they're working with the sculptures to make movements and to support their, their dancing. Um, in the second gallery, you'll see Free Fall for Camera, which is a two-channel video piece. Uh, a dance film based on the notion of falling. It was, um, it was based on uh, Pulse Orlando, uh, the massacre that happened in 2016, where 49 queers of color died. And so for me, it's an homage to these people. This idea of caring for each other and supporting each other comes across in the film, where the dancers are moving together, but at certain moments they start to fall. And when they fall, other dancers come and gather to them and pick them up. So for me, it's a political piece about the fallen bodies that passed on uh, in the Orlando massacre, but also this notion of how do we stand up again? How do we find freedom and restrain from this action? Yeah, I, my work is, as I mentioned, uh, deals between the intersections of dance and visual arts. So I work with uh, sculptures, I work with film, I work with dancers. And so in action is, you know, you know, a process piece. It came from other pieces and so I've just kind of extended it into this place where I should also posit that, you know, a lot of the dances come from children's games. Um, follow the leader, um, hide and seek, um, call and response. And so there's these kind of playful gestures within the piece um, that kind of a part of my work, you know, I'm always working with bodies, I'm always working with sculpture, um, and to see how the sculptures affect the body, burden the body, support the body. And so that's something that comes across a lot in my work um, and is an extension in, in action. As an artist, my work is production. There's many aspects of the work, and so I work with a lot of collaborators. Dance by nature is a collaboration. You have many bodies, you know, working together. So my dancers give me their bodies, and so in the process of how I make my work, you know, there's a lot of conversation, there's a lot of dialogue. And so at first, when the dancers come into the space, you know, we um, talk to each other, we present ideas, I present motifs, tasks that they start to learn and it is a very improvised dance piece. There's motifs, there's tasks that they can do but they also have a lot of agency to make choice in the work. So when I work with my dancers it becomes a very much a conversation in the beginning and then they learn the process. They take that process and it's in their bodies and then they perform it for me. And so I'm really, you know, uh, grateful for them for this, this work, this labor that they give to me, physically and mentally. Um, in other sort of components of my work, you know, I collaborate with an architectural firm, uh, Norman and Kelly, specifically for In Action. And, you know, they take my ideas uh, and they bring them to life. I start to make little maquettes um, using like toothpicks or using like, you know, paper towels, kind of like to form these little like mini versions. And then the architectural firm of Norman and Kelly take my, my maquettes and put them into the 3D world. They start to kind of like uh, give me more ideas of like, you know, creating renderings where bodies are actually interacting with them. And so that's another part of my process of collaboration. And then I work, you know, with, you know, costume designers, you know, to kind of talk about the, the notion of what I'm going, I'm trying to put through in my work. So again, many conversations, many dialogues, and then it all comes into this end production that we see at the Richmond Art Gallery. Yeah, I think there's a greater concept to the show in action and to my practice. You know, my work is about creating new political spaces to think forward. And I think right now, you know, we are living in a pandemic. We're living through social uprisings such as Black Lives Matter. And, you know, these things are affecting people. So Free Fall for Camera came, you know, out of, you know, the and was made out of the Pulse Orlando Massacre, but I really think that it has a greater resonance. You know, I thinking about how are we in general, as a community, trying to find social and political rights for everybody. How do we find equality for people? And so, you know, in this piece, it's positing that. It's even in the, in, the, in the dance of inaction, it's about collaboration, it's about moving together. And so for me, that's the greater sense of my practice, but also this work. So it comes from specific reference points of historical moments in time, but it also is talking about a greater sense of how do we build community and solidarity for our, 
our global kind of landscape. For me, I think this is a really important show uh, for the Richmond Art Gallery because it brings, you know, it's trying to channel the space of movement and dance, you know, trying to create community, trying to create intimacies, which is so challenging right now. Um, but I also think that the ideas, you know, are social and political, and they're ones that, you know, resonate for many types of communities. And I think that the Richmond Art Gallery and the community of Richmond and, you know, the Vancouver scene will gain something from this to kind of think about how do we, how do we maneuver to create you know, solidarity to create gatherings in a pandemic, but, you know, also think about it socially and politically as a way to move forward in the ways that we think and engage with people um, as a community.